Professor Cheng Meng Ching once said, he said, he wanted to help the world, right? He really wanted to help the world. He wanted to really be of influence to the world. And what he found would happen is that as a, as a kid, he used to get tuberculosis, he'd get really sick and scoliosis, all these different things. And then he would do the herbs and do the meditation and then he would get well. And then what would end up happening is that he'd stop it and then he'd get sick again. And he, he made this realization, he said, man, why is it that I only take the medicine that's good for my soul when I need it? If you come to your center and you settle down and you can hear inside and you're still enough, you will know. And nobody can tell you that. Nobody can give you that advice, because that's an inner knowing, right? And that inner knowing, we all have access to it. It's just that, okay, if we were all living like, I don't know, a hundred years ago, and we were out there, you know, tending to some goats and some cows, and they were in the field, and you and I were just hanging out, I'm like, wow, nature is really awesome, and we're just under the stars, and we have a lot of time to contemplate. We have a lot of time to go inside. We have a lot of time to connect to things around us. Today's world is the exact opposite of that. It's always on, always go, always disconnected, always in turmoil. So much that it's the norm. So we, so, so for us, we think it becomes such a hard battle to become still. Here's, here's a challenge for you, yeah? 30 seconds. I just want you to focus on 30 seconds. Two seconds? <laughs> I, I, I'm working on it. I'm working progress. Great. Then once you get two seconds, go for three. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. That's all it is. My teacher, when I started meditating, said do three minutes. Don't do more than three minutes, he told me. And he said, why? I said, why? He said, because people who do 20 minutes of meditation, 18 of that 20 minutes is yip-yapping over here, and the two minutes is like, in stillness. So he said, you know what you're conditioning yourself to? It's like, what's that? 18 minutes of failure and two minutes of good. So instead, take three minutes and see if you can do it for three minutes and consecutively and don't miss a day. People come to me all the time, they're like, I meditate, and my high performance programs, I was like, so you know, would you do some practice, whatever, it's like, yeah, I meditate. And I was like, how many days did you miss last week? And they look at me like, what, what? I was like, how many days did you miss last week? I go, I, maybe I, I did it only like, you know, blah, blah, blah. Two, th three, two, three days, four days. I was like, okay, here's the rule on it. The rule is simple. For every day you miss, you go back 10. So if you did 28 days in a row in a month, and then you miss the 29th day, you're an 18. You miss the 30th day, you're back to eight. That's why people can't go forward and make progress. If you ask the Budo brothers, Jay and Travis, people who spend time with me, I don't care where we are, where they're picking me up from. First thing you're taking me to is for me to go do my practice. Fact. Yes, 100%. And I drag them with me. They're like, we got to shoot at six o'clock in the morning. I'm like, I'm going to the beach right now. It's 1.15 a.m. This is what we got to do. Because I said I would do it. I honor myself enough to find that peace.